morning everyone this is maddie here from thomas made uh i know it feels like six months that we've all been on quarantine even though it's only been like about a month or so for for most of us um but i wanted to show you something awesome that i found today so um i was um went out this morning to get usual caffeine fix and um Found something pretty cool at Duncan, uh, which it looks like they've um, kind of like published for everybody of a fun little thing to do at home to keep us all entertained. Um, so I wanted to show you that today and do it together. Um, so what we what I found is dun, 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 an at home donut decorating kit. They give you four donuts that are plain with no frosting. They give us little tiny shot glass like things that say Dunkin' Donuts on them. And they are filled with sprinkles. And they give us two of those. So this would actually be really fun to do either as a family or even just for your kiddos depending upon how many of them you have. Um, Cause this looks pretty awesome. Okay, then they gave us what looks like chocolate frosting. And lastly, they give us pink, I'm assuming this is uh, strawberry, frosting as well. Okay, oh, and they do give you four different individually packed knives so that I guess everybody could do it together. All right, so I'm gonna just move this around a little bit. And we will start off with our first donut. This is so exciting. Okay, so grabbing our unfrosted donut. I've never seen one of these unfrosted before. Okay, just gonna put Sprinkles on this side, frosting on this side. So first I'm gonna go with chocolate. It's really cute little solo lids on these tiny little Dunkin' cups. I've never seen these before. Really cute. Okay. So let's see how easy this is to spread. So it is a little bit thicker of a frosting. I kind of expected it to be a little bit more liquid than this. So good news is it's not going to make it that big of a mess. Okay. So I'm going to take the donut. Let's see, I've never frosted a donut before, so this is the first time for me. I don't know if this is going to look as good as <laughs> at Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, but I hope it tastes just as good. Either way, it's kind of fun. So, this is, this would definitely be fun to do, like with some kiddos or, a, you know, a couple folks, see whose donut comes out the best. Whoa. Because I can't seem to get mine without, like, the knife marks on here. Hey, I think that looks pretty good. All right. So now I'm gonna put some sprinkles on. Another cute little, tiny little cup full of sprinkles. Okay. This kind of reminds me of like doing like dying Easter eggs or other like fun things you do as a family. So it's like perfect little entertainment. Ooh. I can see the, the sprinkles getting a little bit messy. So if you get this, you may want to put <laughs> a tablecloth down or some plates and not use this like I am. I'm gonna put extra sprinkles on mine. I love sprinkles, they make me happy, so. 
extra, extra, extra. And they're colorful too, this is pretty awesome. I actually think mine might look better than when you get a donut from Duncan. Wow, now that looks awesome. I think that looks pretty good. Actually better than uh, <laughs> than when you go and you get donuts. Okay, I'm just gonna put that there. All right, so next we have our second donut. So another plain guy right here. And I'm gonna go with the strawberry next. I think it's strawberry, let's see. Strawberry, kind of smells like vanilla, but I think it's strawberry. You're definitely gonna need some napkins. They did not include those in this kit. The donuts are a little bit greasy. Um, so make sure that you get some uh, napkins. Now this, again, this is like super kind of thick frosting. That or it's settled a little bit, so I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit here. It's definitely strawberry, I smell it now. All right, yay, pink donuts. Awesome, okay. So now on to donut number two. Okay. After this, I'm gonna be a pro at this. Duncan would be happy to hire me. I can frost all the donuts. This is really fun. Go Duncan, what a cute little idea. This is really fun. Okay. My strawberry one's a little bit more messy. It would be cool if they had like filling for the frosting where you could like put a hole in it and put some frosting in the center of the donut, like a Boston cream or, you know, those powdered like ones. But, so this kit, at least here in New Jersey, this kit, it was, I think it was either $4.99 or $5.99, but I saw it in the drive-thru and I really was like, you know what, I wanna get this. This sounds pretty awesome. I've never seen anything like this before. I like how creative everyone is getting <laughs> during the stay-at-home times. Um, because I have never seen anything like this from Duncan before. So, go Duncan for your creativity. I'm getting better at this. Okay, strawberry! Alright, so, gonna add sprinkles to my strawberry donut. Let's see here. Again, I'm gonna add a lot of sprinkles. I like them. I think they're really cute. They give you a lot of sprinkles. I don't know if you maybe need this much, but this is definitely cool. I'm gonna try to get creative for my next donut. Maybe do like a Chocolate strawberry swirl. I'm gonna take this up a level. done they look really cute they look really good who knew that i would be good at this so there is <laughs> like i said it's gonna make a mess a little bit from these sprinkles okay donut number three so i'm gonna try to take this up a notch so 
since I'm getting good at the basic frosting skills here. So I'm gonna do a hmm, chocolate base with some strawberry frosting swirl. It's gonna be a little bit tricky here. So here we go. And I think I'm gonna skip the sprinkles on this one. So take your chocolate frosting. painting with a knife. Whoa. They give you a lot of frosting too. So that's pretty cool. I think I've said cool about like 15 times in this video. All right, so we got our chocolate on here. Perfect! All right, so now I'm going to put some strawberry swirl on there. Just a little bit at a time. I really like the donuts that they have, and they're like, I think they're like vanilla and chocolate drizzle. I don't know that this is liquidy enough for me to do that drizzle, but it's kind of what I'm going for here. They're marble, that's what it is. Yay! Alright, so this one doesn't look as pretty as the others, but it reminds me of the marble frosted. Alright, so let's see. Woohoo! I think it looks pretty good. Reminds me of the marble, which is one of my favorite ones, so pretty awesome. Alright, so next. Hmm, finally, the last donut. What shall we do for the last one? I think we're gonna do a strawberry base and perhaps some chocolate polka dots and some sprinkles. We're gonna, we're gonna do the finale donut with some sprinkles. All right, so let me take my little strawberry cup here. Just gonna soften this frosting up a little bit. Definitely softening it up helps it spread a little bit better. So, okay, here we go. Getting faster at this. It would have been really cool if they, if they continue to do this. I would love to see like crushed Oreos or cookie crumbles and some other awesome flavors because this is it's a really good idea. Okay, so we have our strawberry base, yay! Looks good! And now we're gonna go for our chocolate polka dots. See how this is gonna work. Okay, so the polka dots are gonna have to be a little bit big because this is not, <laughs> not staying for me. Okay, big polka dots. Yeah, kind of a big polka dot, but cute nonetheless. So we're gonna only put a couple polka dots on here. That's okay though, because in between we'll put some sprinkles. Second polka dot. Okay. Third polka. 
polka dot. I hope these taste good. Kind of tastes like a chocolate covered strawberry. I hope. Okay, so we're gonna stick with three polka dots. They're, they're ginormous polka dots. And in between, I am gonna, actually on the polka dot, I'm gonna put some sprinkles. <laughs> this looks funny. I'm gonna just put some all over it. Why not? When in Rome. Okay, this is the final polka dot. Do not. So here we are, we have four frosted at home donuts. We have two with the strawberry base and two with the chocolate. One looks like a marble and one is a failed polka dot attempt. But this was an awesome um, experience. Um, I would definitely recommend going to your local Dunkin' if you have one. Try this out. It was definitely um, something I've never done before. And I really enjoyed it and I think you would too. Um, always looking for different at home things to do during this quarantine. So please comment below. Let me know what you're doing to stay busy so I can try it and we can do it together. Um, please subscribe to our channel for more fun things. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. And if you do get to go out and try this, um, let me know how your donuts turned out. Hopefully better than my last little guy here. But um, this was definitely fun and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So hope you are doing well with your um, at home quarantine and we will see you soon for more fun and adventures. Bye.